Or what time the arrest started it's yesterday? 11.20. 11.20. Yeah. And um, what, what happened? Tell me the story about the arrest. Well, we came to the um, Monroe County Office Building to uh, protest the policies of Maggie Brooks and request a meeting with her. We were there on Friday from 1 to 5. Um, and um, she, her, none of her agents were willing to um, schedule a meeting with her, so we were back on Monday morning, and her deputy um, county executive was there, Dan DeLaus. So we requested a meeting with her, and um, at least to speak with him since he was there. And um, there was no, um, yeah, they were, there was no word from them. Um, one of the head of public safety, uh, David Moore, um, he came out, he said he was going to contact them and get back to us. He never did. Um, so um, we, we were there to stay, you know, until we got a meeting. And um, we, um, about, about 11.20, we went upstairs to um, the Department of um, Human Resources and to request a meeting with um, Kelly Reed, um, she's the Commissioner of Human Services, and um, we we called her office, and um, we were going to wait there to, to get a response. And um, one of the deputies came in and said, um, "If you stay here, you'll be arrested." And we said, "Well, can we talk about it? You know, um, we want to see what we're going to do, what our think about our rights, and exercise those." And he says, "Well, you have one minute." It's okay. <laughs> So we were talking and he came back, obviously it was not enough time, so he said, if you stay you'll be arrested. So um, Sister Grace and um, Tom stayed and I got up and was going to document what was going on. Um, Sister Grace and Tom were arrested and I was uh, filming them getting arrested, documenting, um, and um, he said I couldn't, I couldn't stay there and film, you know, I, I had to go downstairs. So I continued to film but I sort of walked, was walking away. And um, he just suddenly, um, Sergeant Smith came after me and threw me to the ground and arrested me. Um, and, um, and yeah, and so um, unfortunately, you know, we were there to exercise our rights to, you know, at, the, at that moment we were just asking for a meeting. You know, we weren't asking for the world, we are asking for a meeting with our representatives. Um, you know, we want some fundamental changes in the county, but you know, we, we want to work together because there's a lot of uh, misunderstandings, and you know, we think some of the ways that the county's working now, the ways the money being spent, the priorities are not in favor of the people, especially some of the most vulnerable people in the county. So we were just, at that 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 day we were asking for a meeting, and and um, and we end up in handcuffs. So it's really a sad um, reflection to the current state of our county government. Um, you know, we're going to need a lot of people to come out and confront this government um, in order to have them take decisive action. You know, you know, we, you know, at this point, you know, we brought a lot of people out, we've raised a lot of awareness, but we're going to need action from a lot of people in order to um, get the changes we need. And, um, you know, can you tell me a little bit about your demands for Maggie? Like, why did you come out? Um, we seeking openness. We're seeking um, efficiency, and we're thinking we're seeking justice, openness, and we think the county should be open and releasing their plan to house all the homeless in Monroe County. Um, they haven't released a plan, um, afraid because they don't have a plan. Right? They're taking it day to day, rearranging some services, doing some things, but they actually don't have a plan, which is would be the most scary. But, um, but we think they should release whatever plan they do have. Um, so the, the county, you know, its constituents, the community can debate this and say, well, what is the best way forward? Mm -hmm. uh, we think that it should be efficient with the money it's already spending. You know, the county has a spending about $5 million on emergency housing as far as we know and um, and, uh, and they're spending a lot of that money just housing people at the Cadillac Hotel which is um, whatever one feels with that as a, as a private hotel um, it probably shouldn't be contracted with as, as with public money you know it's, 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 it's very substandard it's spending a lot of money to place people without supportive services um, and um, and the reason some people are being placed there is because the shelters are full every night 
right? It costs more to place per person there. So if we were doing okay, all the shelters wouldn't be full every night. We wouldn't be placing 30% of our people in this hotel. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we, you know, we, we think the money can be spent much more efficiently. We think, you know, probably a, a new shelter downtown, um, which, you know, is person-centered, uh, could meet a lot of the immediate needs. Long-term, we think we need housing first and uh, to place people directly in and apartments and housing, affordable housing. Uh, but we need something just to, as cold as it is, to make sure people are alive, you know, can survive the winter. Um, and we also want justice. We want making sure that we have some immediate solution that, um, that allows everybody to have shelter. Whether, whether that's opening up a new shelter with the monies that already exist, or some other creative idea that people can come up with as a community. But we all have to be in dialogue about this. We all have to work together. We can't segregate saying, well, you know, we're only going to talk to these people, and then we're only going to do this, and we're only going to, and we, we have our plan, we, we, everything is good. No, we have to all work together. That's the only way. And, um, you know, they're putting a lot of pressure on House of Mercy. So, well, you can go out, you can do this or that. But the House of Mercy already serves 4,000 people a month, right? We're already doing. We're already doing our part, you know, we're already doing a lot, you know, for just something that's just funded by day, day by day, donation by donation, check by check. Mm -hmm. The county has taken our money through, through taxes and has a billion dollar budget. And, um, and we think that we should have some say over how that money is spent and it should be spent to the benefit of everybody in the community, especially people that are just fighting for survival. We think everybody's basic needs should be met. Everybody should be able to live and be treated with dignity.